if young people are the future of this country, we are in really big trouble. We are supposed to be a civilized society, but now, we are facing an entire generation of young Americans that is completely out of control. Violent crime is surging all over the nation, theft will cost US retailers more than $100 billion this year alone, and at this moment, we are dealing with the worst drug crisis in the entire history of the United States. Needless to say, all of these problems are primarily being fueled by Americans under the age of 30. These young people have been raised in a society that has largely rejected traditional values, and now we are reaping the consequences. At this point, things are so bad that even the news crews that are reporting on the rising crime in our major cities are getting robbed themselves. Here is the latest example. A Univision Chicago TV crew was reporting on a string of armed robberies across the city of Chicago early Monday morning when three men wearing ski masks robbed the crew at gunpoint. The Chicago Tribune reported that the victims, a reporter and a photographer who have not been named, were filming a segment for the Spanish-language TV station near the 1200 block of North Milwaukee Avenue in the city's west town. They were approached with guns and robbed, said Luis Godinez, vice president of news at Univision Chicago. Mainly it was personal items, and they took a camera. The Robin Hood mentality is spreading among so many of our young people. They see nothing wrong with taking from the rich, because they figure that most rich people exploited the poor to get their wealth in the first place. Of course there are many others that don't see any need to justify their crimes at all. At this point, vast hordes of young people are completely and utterly lawless in many of our major cities, and that is forcing large numbers of businesses to move out of our core urban areas. Earlier today, I came across a story about a very popular restaurant in downtown San Francisco that has decided to throw in the towel because crime has made running a small business nearly impossible. Gracia's Madre, a popular vegan eatery in San Francisco's Mission District, closed its doors this week after more than a decade due to the city's deteriorating conditions. Our mission was always to honor the mothers who give so much to serve, care for, and live in hope for their families, especially those of Mexico. It has been an honor to work on behalf of their generosity and sacrifice all these years. A note posted outside the restaurant and on the web, read in part. The condition of life in San Francisco has deteriorated and made running a small business nearly impossible, the note continued. Sadly, a lot of this crime is being generated by the worst drug crisis in U.S. history. Year after year, the number of overdose deaths just continues to grow, and we have reached a stage where even our schools are being absolutely flooded with <laughs> Infiltration into schools is certainly something that cannot be ignored, says Alberto Carvalho, the superintendent of the Los Angeles Unified School District. LAUSD is one of the largest districts to stock a medicine that reverses overdoses throughout its schools. We cannot close our eyes. We cannot look the other way, he says. He was involved in the vast majority of all teen overdose deaths, 84% in 2021, and the problem has been growing. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, related adolescent overdose deaths nearly tripled from 2019 to 2021. And nearly a quarter of those deaths involved counterfeit pills that weren't prescribed by a doctor. No matter what our politicians try, they can't seem to stop the momentum of this crisis. Why is that? If you go to downtown Philadelphia right now, you can see hordes of homeless addicts literally staggering around like zombies. We have become world famous for the nightmarish conditions in our core urban areas, and even when they are cleaned up, it is only just temporary. The addicts and the open-air drug markets always return. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Meanwhile, seeing flash mobs systematically loot major retail stores has become a regular occurrence all over the nation. In one recent incident in Los Angeles, one flash mob actually used a bird call to communicate during a robbery. A flash mob of masked thieves were caught on video using a bird call during a recent smash and grab at a Macy's store in Southern California. 
Nine masked males struck the store at the Westfield Fashion Square in the Sherman Oaks neighborhood of Los Angeles, just after 12.30 p.m. Thursday, KABC-TV reported. The suspects are seen on video filling bags with stolen merchandise, as bystanders look on in shock. In one video recorded by a witness, a suspect can be heard making a bird call before someone yells let's go. The suspects then run out of the store with bags full of stolen items. Organized retail crime has become a massive nationwide problem over the past few years, and it is only going to get worse. Outbursts of extreme violence have also become increasingly common. Last Sunday, approximately a thousand young people descended upon the Del Amo Fashion Center in Southern California, and an enormous brawl erupted. Police from multiple agencies swarmed the Del Amo Fashion Center on Sunday afternoon, after a brawl among juveniles, with possible gunfire, drew a massive crowd of underage onlookers. Around 4 p.m., Torrance police received a call reporting a large crowd of juveniles fighting among themselves at the Carson Street shopping mall said Torrance Police Sergeant Ron Salary. It's unclear exactly how many people were fighting, but police estimate there were a thousand juveniles watching. On that same day, 200 to 250 young people gathered at the Bay Street Mall in the city of Emeryville, and that resulted in a very large brawl as well. Police also reported a large brawl among juveniles in the Bay Area city of Emeryville on Sunday afternoon. Around 4.30 p.m., according to the Emeryville Police Department, about 50 young people caused a disturbance inside a store at the Bay Street Mall and had to be escorted out. About an hour later, police said, 200 to 250 young people gathered at the mall and several fights broke out near the courtyard. A gun was fired near Bay Street and the Lone Way, though no one was reported hurt. Near Elm Street, a juvenile was stabbed and was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening wounds. What is it about California that makes these kids go so crazy? It is often said that as California goes, so goes the nation. And if we stay on the path that we are on, it won't be too long before all of our major cities descend into chaos. If we had raised our children differently, we wouldn't be in the mess that we are in today. But now, it is too late. These kids have become young people that are totally out of control, and we are all going to suffer the consequences. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.